Hello. Hello, Nona. Yes. Hi, this is Dave. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Grass Tree Court. Yes. And uh, I was lying in your grass, in, in your lawn last night. And yes. there was there was dog poop in your yard, and it got in my hair. And I just don't appreciate it. I don't have a dog. Well, it's the dog shits in your yard, though, and you should you should be cleaning that up. Why were you lying in my yard? I was looking at the stars. Oh, I don't have a dog, and I don't have a dog. Okay, well, there's there's dog poop in your yard, so I think where is it at? You should be responsible. It's in the backyard, right in the middle, right where I was lying in the backyard. You know, that's kind of scary that you're lying out here in the yard. My yard. That's. Why you should it, be in your own yard. Why is it scary? No, I don't like my yard. I'm looking out of my backyard right now, and I don't see any dog doo-doo. Well, can you go out there and look really close? I mean, most of it ended up in my hair. It was such an inc- You know, what, what's your name? This is, this is Dave. It was such an inconvenience. I had to go home and wash my hair. What's your last name, Dave? Reynolds. And, you know... I think I'll call the police and uh, tell them that you were lying in my yard. What? For what? That's not illegal to lie in someone's yard. Well, it's kind of strange. Well, it may- and I don't want you to ever do it again. Well, no, I, your your yard is my favorite. I, it's not. I'm not bothering anyone. You're not using the yard at three in the morning. That's kind of scary. How is it scary? Because I don't know you, and you could break into my house, and I have never broken into anyone's house. That's such a rude thing to accuse me of. Well. You're just letting your imagination run wild. All I'm doing is looking at the stars. Look at them in your own yard. No, I don't like my yard. There's too much light over here anyway. Well, go to someone else's yard and don't do it in my yard. But you you have the best yard in the back. I think I'm going to call the police. For what? What would you tell them? That you're lying in my yard at 3 a.m. and I don't like it. Well, that, that's just a waste of the police's time, because they don't care what you like. Well, they're there to serve and protect. Right, but th- they're not they're not your counselor or anything. You know, it, it's I don't not, need a counselor. It's not you even... need a counselor. If you're out wandering around the neighborhood at 3 o'clock in the morning and lying in people's yards, there's something wrong with you, Dave. I'm a night owl. I can't help it. I just, I like being up at nighttime. But no, but nobody's using their yard at 3 in the morning. I, I lie in everyone's yard. It's not just you. I just like to lie in the grass and smoke a little bit of weed. Mm. Look at the stars. Well, well, pick somebody else's yard because I'm going to call the police. Well, <sighs> Conversation is over. No, it's not because we're still talking. It is right now. No, no, we're still talking. See? <laughs> okay. Now it's over. She wins. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show, snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W- what? W- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder? <laughs> okay. Go, 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 shaw, go, 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 Roy, long shits on the toilet. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hello. This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Hello. Who, 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 who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. Yeah. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. What's this? Bitch, asshole. I don't fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Bird winder. Fucked in the ass. Bo 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 shaw bo 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 are you the good boy, Westy? Roy, Steve Dave, Bob, Bob, Dabalina, go suck a dick. Roy, 
Steve Dave, Bob, Bob, Bob Alina, go suck it in. You listen to Westy, you little shit. Third winder? Okay. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hello there, everyone. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 842, and it is brought to you by JT22906. Steve B, Jazz the Tandem Stacker, I Regret Jumping, and Sim Speak. They support us on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. Hey, that was a really good prank that one of you listeners pulled on me last weekend. Smashing up my parked car out on the street and not even leaving a ding note. Wow, you got me good. I think that was a prank anyway. I'm not really sure, but I'm serious, you guys. Some drunk driver smashed into the front of my car while it was parked on the street. And the guy in the car just kind of ran off, left his car there. It was pretty weird. But I've been dealing with insurance stuff for the past week. They keep making me do things, but they're finally done. They gave me a bunch of money since this guy totaled my car. Like, seriously, it's totaled. They took it away. I'm never going to see it again. And now I'm carless. And I said a bunch of money, but I think they gave me enough money to maybe buy a third of a car. I was just surprised my car was worth that much. But what I'm getting at is, like, during carding month now, I can't really brag to truck owners how my Nissan Versa Note hatchback can easily tow their truck. I guess those days are over. And you know what's weird? My car's been hit four times now. I've been in four accidents in the... How many years have I owned that car? Like, six years? Eight years, maybe? I've had four people smash into me, and all four of them had to give me money. And then I didn't have insurance fix my car. I just kind of fixed it myself. Went to the junkyard and got new doors and stuff. The first time I got hit, it was a pretty major one. This box truck just sideswiped the whole side of my car. Messed it up real good. And that happened just like a week or two after I was raided by the FBI for prank calls. So I took that money straight to an attorney that could help me out during all of that stuff. That was kind of lucky. What I'm getting at though is don't buy a compact car that's the same color as the road. Because you're just invisible then. People are going to hit you all the time. It sucks. I don't know why I'm telling you about my personal problems. Nobody cares about that stuff. I barely do. Oh my gosh, guys, listen. I'm doing my intro now. I've already done the pranks. I've been doing those earlier today. But somebody is calling me back, so here's a clue to what the prank calls are going to be like today. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Is this Barry? Yeah, hey, who's this? How you doing? This is Anthony with the sheriff's office. Hey, Anthony. You sound like a fake you You sound like a fake sheriff. No, no, I'm the real deal, Badge 180. But anyways, you still live on Villa Rosa there? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you shit, sir. I don't think you're really a sheriff. I think you're full of well, shit. I'm uh, coming after you. I want to let you know. Oh, you're coming after me? Is that what a sheriff says? Oh, sheriff gets yeah. on the phone like, I'm coming after making, you. You're making phone calls to people, and we got your number now, and we're gonna we're coming after you over on Villa Rosa. So. They, they should have my number, because I didn't block my number, you fucking idiot. Stop. Stop making phone calls to your neighbors. Oh, no. No, I'm going to call my neighbors forever. There's okay, nothing you right. can do We're about it. over right now. All right. Oh, Take you, care, sir. You come over to Villa Rosa, you stupid motherfucker. I'm on the way. Hey, why don't you tell that person in the background to shut the... <laughs> what was that? I kept hearing somebody in the background just going on and on. But I was doing the same thing, so I couldn't understand them. You guys, that was not a sheriff. Absolutely not. I don't have to look it up or anything. I am just 100% sure that was not a sheriff. In fact, I'm going to change my caller ID here real quick and call him back. Sheriff's office. Sir, did you know it's illegal to impersonate the sheriff? I have called Uh, the real sheriff on you, and they're going to be coming for you over there in Villa Rosa. Okay, well, I'm on my way right now. Okay, you come over and get me. I'm on my way. Okay. I'm on I'm on Tulip right now. Be looking, because we're looking for you. Mmm, Tulip. Hey, when you get here, can me and you can we kiss on the mouth? I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. You sick son of a bitch. I'm going to lean up into your face, and I'm just going to be like, (laughs) he's not the sheriff. I'm extra convinced now. Okay, back to the intro of the show. I was on Devin's show on April 6, 2024. I think I was on for uh, two hours of her three-hour show. And I am so proud of this, you guys. I got a man to fire off a gun in the air over the phone. I dared him to, and he did it. And I'm not going to play the entire call. I think half of it is Devin, and the other half is me. But I'm just going to get on her YouTube and play this clip of a man firing off his gun because a prank caller on the phone dared him to. I don't do that. I don't get on no swap shop. I don't get on nothing like that. Nothing. I'm going to stay in your backyard all night. Well, you better not. Oh, I will. 
I'm Who's telling you, I'm fixing to walk out. I'm fixing to walk out a 20 gauge shotgun. If you out there, you're going to get shot. Oh, yeah, right. Let's hear you fire it off. You don't have no shotgun, you fucking pussy. Let me show you. Yeah, I want to hear it. Shoot it. Let's hear it. Just hold on just a damn second. I'll show oh, you. Oh, you're, you're just going to light a firecracker, aren't you? You think I'm full of shit? I'll show you. Are you Probably ready? Got, you got one of those little lady I'll, fingers. Fire you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> you hear that? Oh, shit. I'm running. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm running, okay? I'm running away. I'm running, running. Ah! Yeah, this. Listen, the next one be for you, okay? Because I got some more. Oh, I thought that was for me. Oh, it wasn't even for me? Fuck that. I'm coming back. That was a guy that was selling stuff on the radio, even though he claimed he wasn't. I think it was actually his mom selling stuff on the radio, but he didn't want to let us talk to his mom for some reason. And I think the mom says something about the shotgun blast to him while we're talking to him i don't know it was kind of funny the whole call is 12 minutes long and it's over on devon's youtube if you want to go look at it i will put a link in the description for you to click on ah shoot i just missed another incoming call but that's okay this intro is getting too long let's do show stuff right now my name is dave d davidson and you're listening to the snowplow show Home of the greatest prank calls ever created by humankind. Motherfucker. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey, hey, this is Roy. It's your neighbor. Is this Nicole? Yes. Hey. Uh, I'm doing a project for a uh, community college. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be following you around tomorrow. Oh, Roy. Yeah. I don't know who this is. Follow me around where? You know, just any place you might go. I don't know if you plan to stay home or if you're going out on errands, but uh, I'll be kinda... driving behind you and just following you around. Uh, it's for a project. Okay, but that's kind of scary. <laughs> oh, don't, don't be scared. I'm I'm just a student over at the community college. He said he's going to be. Uh, he's a neighbor. He's going to be following me around. Yeah, I'm going to follow you around. I'm going to take pictures, and I'm going to take lots of notes about all the times. What is this in regards to? Uh, it's my college project. Uh, our our teacher's making us just follow random neighbors around, so I'm going to be following your wife around. I'm going to be. Well, I I would much prefer you not to follow us around. Why would you? Follow? And if I find out. Sir. For any reason you are, there will be police reports made. No, don't. I'm calling ahead of time because I don't want to. No, I don't want to well, scare I'm your wife. You ahead of time. Hey, why don't you, you, you? Why don't you just get off the phone? I was talking to your wife. Well, well, guess what? I'm her husband. I know. And I don't want you following her around. I don't even know who you are. I don't understand. Exactly. I'm not. Well, gonna, I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm not going to want you following us around. I'm not going to meet you or anything. I'm just going to follow you. For two, okay. th well, two or three days. What. Well, what type of car are you in? Oh, no, I don't want to say that because I don't want to give it away that much. Oh, uh, okay. Just... Well, guess what? I'm, I'm making a police report right now. No, you're and, not. Uh, you're you're at that. home. Like, what do you have police? Yeah, yeah, I'm at home right now. You have the paperwork at your house for some reason? I don't understand why you would be following me around. You, you, I, 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 I told you. I, it's a college thing. I, I have to do it to get credit. We're following okay, people well, around, pick, uh, and then I'm... Pick someone else. Why are you picking my wife? Uh, my point. Well, what's... I mean, I could pick anybody. I, I just... I picked your yeah, wife. Okay, do that. Do that. No, I, Please. I, I already, I'm asking you not to follow us around. I already submitted her name, and when when I'm done following her around, I'm going to write a story about her life based on, on what I found on, on the few days that I followed her around. You know, you 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 just fucked up real bad, my friend. What? I'm Thank just, you. Just doing my class project. I do not understand what the big deal is. Who wouldn't want to be followed? It's like playing a game, you know. I'm gamifying their life, but they just don't want to play. They're being assholes about it. Hello. Hey, there's is Don. Yes. It's Barry, your neighbor. Barry, who? Parker. I live over on Kingsway Drive. Okay. Uh, are you going anywhere tomorrow? Why? Well, I'm going to be following you. It's for a class project at my community college. Yeah. No, I'm not going anywhere. 
okay, well, I might be sitting in front of your house in my car just waiting to see if you go anywhere because my class assignment is to follow you. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, what about the day after? No. I wouldn't uh, be interested in you doing that anyhow. Okay, well, no, I, it wasn't. it's not up to you. I was just going to follow you around. Well, it is actually, but that's all right. Well, no, it's for a class. It's for a class project. I'm supposed to secretly follow some someone around. Uh, okay, well, it probably gets pretty boring. So go ahead. Okay, well, I mean, I was going to, but you say you're not going to go anywhere. When's your next nope. appointment? I don't know. Can you tell me how I don't much? Plan that far. I don't tell, plan that far ahead. Can you tell me how much your head weighs? <laughs> no, I gotta go. Sir, I'll I'm I'm making a, a virtual uh, version of you. On, on my computer, like in yeah. virtual reality? Yeah. I need to know how much your head weighs. I wouldn't be interested. Thank you. Well, just, just, Bye-bye. No, it's not for you. It's for me. Goodbye. Bye. I'm calling a neighborhood where I didn't think it was a bunch of old people because I need people to go out and do things so I can follow them. Also, I should have called all these people in the evening because if they go places during the daytime... And they're not going to be home right now. They're going to be home in the evenings. Stupid me. What was I thinking? Hello? Hi, Ruth. Yes. It's Barry. It's your neighbor. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, hi. Hey, um, I'm, I'm, I have a class assignment at the community college to follow somebody around. Okay. I'm going to be following okay. you around tomorrow in my car for the next couple of days. You're going to be following me around in, my car, in your car? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you know, like... Any errands or whatever you do, or if you go to work or anything like that, I'm just going to be following you. And, what? And probably trailing you inside the stores, too. Okay, who is this again? Uh, my name is Barry. I live over on Rebecca Drive. Okay. I, I called you a couple of years ago because I, I left my uh, night vision goggles in your yard. No, I don't remember that. Who is oh, this? Maybe I talked to your husband. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is Barry. I'm just going to be following you tomorrow, and I didn't want you to be scared if you saw... Like, why? A... But I don't understand why you have to follow me. Oh, uh, it's just a class project. I'm going to follow you for two or three days, and I'm going to take pictures, like secret pictures I of you. But I, don't want you. but I don't want you to do that. How well, about that? Well, nobody's going to see it except for my class when I do my presentation. No, go pick somebody I'm... else, Barry. Well, no, I'm going to tell like a story of your life after it's all done. Like, based on just no, what no, I know from okay. following you for a couple days. No, that's okay. Well, well, no, I'm not asking permission. I've already picked you and my uh, my teacher approved. No, I no, just... no, I'm not going for it. Take, okay. don't, don't take me off your list. But I actually got to go, Barry, because okay. I've got a meeting. I well, gotta... you don't have to do anything. Oh, you're going to a meeting, like, in your car? Or, like, is it a, telling you. a Zoom? I'm telling you. Take me off the list. I gotta go. It's, it's not right. a list. It's it's my school. But you're, you're not you're right. Okay, you're not gonna do it. If you do it, then I'm gonna I'll make a phone call. Okay. Well, no, I'll we'll just go. follow you really good so you don't see me. No, gonna, I gotta go. Barry. This is gonna make my class project more challenging. I wish a teacher would do this for real, or maybe I should go become a teacher at the community college, Frank Abagnale style. I'll just pretend I have all the credentials because I want to send an entire class out to stalk their neighbors. This seems like they could really learn a lot if we did this. This is I help you. Oh, hey, is this Steven? This is. Hey there, it's Barry. It's your neighbor. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, they, good. Uh, I'm, at the, I'm doing a project at the community college, and I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be following you around in my car for the next few, few days. Just kind of secret, secretly tailing you. Barry, where do you live? Uh, well, I'm I'm on Deborah Drive, but just around the corner from you, you know, like kind of on the opposite okay. end. Well, why are you following me around? Oh, it's just for a cl- <laughs> class project. Uh, I'm going to be following you, taking pictures, taking notes, and just logging all of the places you go. Are you asking my authority to do this, or are you telling me you're going to be doing? This? I'm just telling you. I've already submitted your name to my teacher and everything. What what college is this for? With the oh the it's it's uh, Macomb Community College. Why do you go out to Macomb? Oh, uh, you know I I have uh, relatives out there and relatives over here. 
I'm doing most of it online. But yep. yeah, uh, what 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 degree are you working? For? Oh, that's none of your business. I'm supposed to be well, learning about you. You follow me around. It's not none of my business. Uh, it's none of your business. Well, no, it is because that's part of my project. I just had to follow but you it, around. But it's and... not because because I I have the right to my privacy, and you following me around is not a cool thing. So I know I, I just, do not approve of this, Barry. I, so I thank felt, you very I'm, much. Look, I felt uncomfortable following you around without letting you know first so that's what i'm doing i'm just letting you know but i still have to follow you no no that's okay what well, are you driving i'm gonna well you you gotta figure that out i'm gonna be i'm gonna just well, be following you around secretly you, you can try well, to Barry, lose it's not gonna it's not gonna work out for you you can try to lose me if you want it's okay well barry i'm gonna tell you right now it's not gonna work out for you not well, for your best interest to follow me around why do you have a fast car it doesn't matter what car I my, have. My speedometer, goes, right now. my speedometer goes to 140. I can keep up with him. Okay, I got a call coming in. I don't know who it is. Hello. Hello? Hi. I'm sorry. Is this Barry? Yeah. Did you just call me about 20 minutes ago? Oh, I think so, I'm... yeah. Who's it? Why? Well, well, well I'm going to follow you around tomorrow. It's a part of my uh, community college project. Okay, um, I, so I don't know if this is a joke or what, and now I rem now what I will tell you is if I even think you're doing something, if you ever call this number again, I've already made a call to the police. I just wanted to report it. I've given them the phone number. I'm going to block this number. Why, why do you report but, it to the police? Because I don't want you following me, and I think you're a weirdo. Oh, wait. Did I talk to you already about the following thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're pub look, ma'am. Sure that they're public yeah. streets. I can follow someone around on a public street and like through a grocery store and stuff like that. You can walk wherever you want. That's yeah. right. But if I feel like you're following me and making me uncomfortable, that's an issue. Oh no, I'm gonna keep my distance. Yes. I have a telephoto lens, so I'll be taking all of my photos of you from a distance. Okay, so that's even creepier, well and that's why I've already called the police. No, so, I have, it's a telephoto lens for college. No, please don't do that. Thank you. I just, I just want to make sure that this was actually Barry. That's all I needed to know. Confirm oh, okay. that that was. But, okay. All right. And there she goes. I don't remember talking to her, and I don't think she told me her name either. So that just must be somebody I spoke with earlier. And I wish the cops would do their job and let them know I can drive wherever I want out in public, and I can follow you all over Walmart and stuff. And snap photos and, oh man, I could go by her cart and snap a few photos of all the stuff in her cart. My professor would love that because that's just more information for my report. Advanced. Advanced. Advanced basement waterproofing. Oh, that was a weird way to answer the phone. Is Jean there? Uh, no, she's not. Ah, shoot. Okay. Um, who, who is this? Oh, this is Barry. I'm your neighbor. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I've been assigned to follow her around for a few days, uh, from my professor at the community college. Okay. Uh, it's just like a fun project we're doing. I'm going to be following her around and taking photos and just, uh, you know, giving my, giving a report to my instructor. Okay. No, this is actually my cell phone. So oh. you're not, you're not actually calling you won't get a hold of Jean on this number. Do you, would you like a? Do you like her her phone number? Yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you so much. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Jean's number is five four four. Okay, I will call her up and let her know. I mean, I don't really need to get a hold of her. I just I I felt weird just following her around without her knowing. So I, I just wanted her to know that I would be following her around. This week for a few days. Is, is it is it for her job? Or are you? Oh no! no. This oh is no! For I, school for yeah, you. it's it's a school project. It's a community college okay. project. I'm gonna be following okay. her around and uh, just finding out as much as I can about her. I'll be tailing her around. Like, what does she do? Go to grocery stores and stuff? Uh, well, we do together typically, but okay. I'll be following you both around then. I'll be taking note of when you're with her and when you're not. And I'll be uh, taking photos from far away. Okay. And I might. Um, when, is, when is that going to start? So uh, this way I don't. 
Tom- chase you down thinking that I'm being spied on. Oh, tomorrow tomorrow morning. I mean, you are being spied on, technically. It's just, you know, it's by a friendly neighbor. It's me. Okay. So don't don't be don't be kicking my ass. Okay. All willy nilly. No, 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 no. Well, if you thanks for the warning, now I know that it's you out there watching. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that may have saved you some grief. Thank you. Oh no problem. Uh, no problem at all. And uh, yeah, I'll I'll try and get a hold of Jean too, just so she knows. Yeah, I would get. I would call her. This is this is my phone. So yeah, uh, you called her husband. Is she gonna? So admit, if you wanna, is she gonna answer with a code word too? Is she gonna be, like pick up the phone and be like fusion? No, I answer it that way because of my business. Oh. You've called my business cell, so uh, my business is advanced basement waterproofing. Oh, okay. So I answered it advanced. Is it makes sense now? Overly advanced, like is it, or is it just the stuff that I did thirty years ago to waterproof my own basement? You know, just painting the oil stuff on it. Well, uh, that's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's that's what it Look, is. Look, I don't have time to chat all day. I gotta call Gene. Oh, okay. which which one of your oversized polluting pickup trucks is Gene's? That would be me. Oh, I thought you both had one. Nope. Oh, uh, I got my work cut out for me. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I I better get going. Good luck. Thank you so and much. That's it. You too. Bye. Don't kill me tomorrow. All right, I'm calling up Gene. Before he does, I need to let her know that uh, I got permission from her husband, whose name I do not know. Oh, but she's not going to pick up. Great. Maybe if I call from her husband's number. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, come on. Come on. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Okay, I'm going to switch over my caller ID now. I'm going to call her from her husband's number. And she's got to pick that up, right? Please leave your message Ah. for 7. Why is it a different voicemail message now? She's probably on the phone with him. And she's like, that's weird. You're calling me right now. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone. Son of a bitch. Hello? Gene. What? I've been trying to call. Okay, I'm your neighbor. This is Barry. What? Uh, this is your neighbor. My name is Barry. Yeah. I, I needed to let you know that I'm going to be following you around this week. It's a community college project I'm doing. And my instructor says I need to follow around a random neighbor or family person. So I'm going to be following you around for a few days this week. I've, okay. You're calling me from what phone number? Oh, I'm calling you from your husband's phone number. Because you wouldn't pick up from when I called from my own number. Yeah, because I'm actually with a client and I'm super busy. Oh, what client is it? So I'm going to hang up the phone. Okay, but ma'am, I'm going to be following you around. Oh, she's annoyed with me. And her husband's going to be like, don't worry, honey. I gave him permission to follow us around as much as he needs to. She's going to be so proud of her husband. These are old numbers, by the way, of Next Door Nicks. They're all from 2023, I think. That one was anyway. I'm just calling up people who I've called before and they didn't answer. Just trying them one last time. Thank you, Next Door Nick, for all the numbers. I saw that you sent a bunch of new ones in. Thanks for those. But on that one, he was completely wrong. He said there was two oversized polluting pickup trucks. Maybe that was just one of the husband's friends. Wait, maybe I need to call up the wife and say the password, say advanced. And that way she knows I'm for real. She'll say her password back to me. She'll be like, what is you, honey? Hello. Hello, Peter? Yeah. Hey, this is your neighbor. It's Barry. Who? Barry. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a student over at the community college. And I I'm, right. I'm going to be following you around in my car uh for the next few days. And uh, I just wanted to let uh, you know about uh, that it's for a class project. You won't be following me because I'm not there. <laughs> I I know, but don't you go don't you go places like during the day, like errands and groceries? Yeah, I do, but I'm gone. I'm actually at a, a friend's house. I'm gonna stay there tonight, and I won't be back. Okay, 
Well, don't Probably, don't don't tell me too much because I gotta follow you around like wherever you go. I'll just be kind of sitting outside your house, but down the street so you don't see me. And if you go anywhere, I'm gonna follow you in my car. Well, you know, you'll have to. I hope you got a lot of patience because I'm not sure exactly what time I'll be back tomorrow. So. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. I might be poking poking around your friend's house and looking in windows and stuff and taking photos. But it's all. All for- right. What is this? What is this about? Oh, uh, well, I'm in a community college class, and our assignment is to follow people around. Fo- follow, you know, just pick a person and, and follow them around. So I submitted your did... your name. Uh, all right. It's for a psychology class. All right. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to be following you for several days. All right. And so if you see me following you, just don't worry. It's just me. I'm just following you. That's all. Call you the shadow man. Then. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. All right. Um, is it okay if I put a GPS tracker on your car? How are you going to do that? Because I'm, I'm in my car and I'm not there. Well, I'm just saying, if I did, would you be mad? Uh, I don't want that. Okay, I won't do that then. I promise. I. Right. I thought that'd make it easier, but th- those things are expensive anyway. Yep. All right. Well, uh, right. Th- thanks for your permission, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let my you. My brother. What? My brother might be there tomorrow. He's my twin brother, so. Okay. Let him know if, if he sees anyone following. Like uh, you know, tell him not to shoot me or beat me up or anything. I'm just doing my my assignment. That's all. All right. Where do you live? Uh, I'm over on Bay Point Drive. What's your brother's name? Paul. Paul, he's a twin? Wow. Neat. Yep. Peter, Paul, I'm in Joyce. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense to me. All right. I'm going to have to make sure that I'm not following your brother, though, and I'm following you because yep. I don't want to get a failing grade on my assignment. Okay. Okay. So. I'll be well, by- I can. Whoop. I say, when you see me, you can say something because, as long as you're following me, it doesn't make. I already know you're going to be following me. It's not like this is a, you know, a secret agent thing. So. Yeah, well, it is for me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just in this college class, and I'm not supposed to make any contact oh. with you. I just have to follow you around and take photos with my why? telephoto lens. Then what? Then why did you why did you call? <laughs> well, I didn't want you to be concerned if if you saw me following you around. Well, if I was concerned, I'd stop you. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'm a, I'm really good at uh, at tailing people and. Okay. I I, I I I was a cop for thirty years, so. Oh yeah, yeah. Cops are the easiest to tail because they think they know everything. Yep, you're right. All right. Well, thank you so much for the permission. I love you. All right, we'll talk to you later. All right, uh, almond bars and stuff. Bye. Bye. Is that, what he, is that what he said? Almond bars? Peter, Jack, and almond? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Must have been some popular saying when he was nine years old. That's still hilarious to him for some reason. Hello? Listen here, Tina. What's oh. up? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this Tina? Yeah. I'm sorry. I was I was on the other phone with my girlfriend and I was uh screaming yelling at her and when you oh. picked up I just kind of kept going. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fine. This, thought... Oh, this is your neighbor. It's Barry. Huh? This is your neighbor Barry. Barry. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh. li- I live I live over on um Cartel Drive. Cartel. Yeah. You know, it's just okay. A, uh, I'm going to be following you around a little bit this week. It's for uh, my community college uh, project. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, well, I mean, just when you go out and stuff, I'll I'll be standing by and and I'll uh, start following you around and maybe tailing you around uh, stores or wherever your errands end up being. But it's it's just a community college project. That's all. I I don't mean any harm. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just letting you know because I don't want you to be concerned if you happen to spot me. Okay. Is, is that okay? Uh, yeah, well, I do a lot of running. Yeah. Like what kind of places do you go to? Everywhere. Oh. I run for the, for, uh, the, uh, a nonprofit for a pantry, food pantry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably be in there with you. I'll, I'll be far away, though. I'll be taking pictures with a really, uh, one of those really long camera lenses. Now, why? Oh, it's for my community college project. It's a criminology class. And we're, we're hmm. just, we're each assigned to follow around somebody from our neighborhood. And I'm following you. But you're not in my neighborhood. Yes, I am. What do you, I mean, not in. I'm like two two blocks away. I'm on Cartel Drive. I'm not like. I don't even. Yeah, that's not in my neighborhood. I well, don't even know where that's at. Well, it's two. Like you have to look at a map. Like uh, just look at a map. I'm two blocks away. Uh, kind of in that nope. industrial industrial area. Nope. But, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Nope. Yes. Quit telling me, nope, I know where I live. I know where I live. Well, do you know where car... No, you don't. Where do you think I live? What if you were on Cartel Drive? Would you be completely lost? Yeah, because I don't even know where Cartel Drive is. I think you'd figure it out. Like, it's just... And I know my neighborhood very well. Ma'am, okay. I want you to get on maps.google.com right now. I can't. I'm quite busy. Oh, what are you doing? I'm working. So what, what are you working on? I I take care of a lady, so oh, okay. I'm pretty busy. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to start following you around tomorrow and uh, the next couple days, and uh, just don't worry about it. It's no big deal. And uh, it's for college, and I'll probably get a good grade. Okay, bye. And I'm going to read all about you in, in front of my class. Okay. They're going to know... No one is here to take your call right now. Please leave a message at the tone, and we'll get back to you. Thank you. Albert, are you there? Hello, it's it's your neighbor. It's Barry. Hello, Albert, are you home? Are you home? Hello. I, I live I live o over on Quail Ridge Run. I'm your neighbor. Hello, Albert. Pick up. Hello. Oh, thank God you picked up. It's Barry, your neighbor. What can I do for you? Well, yeah. um, I'm going to be following you around tomorrow. Uh, it's for a community college project. And You're I'm going to just... be following me around? Yeah, yeah. If you go anywhere in your car, and like if you go to a store, I'll be following you around the store inside. I'm just... I'm a... Why is that? Well, it's a community college project. I'm in a criminology class, and I just have to tail you for uh, several days. <laughs> well, that's pretty boring. Yeah, I, it's it's not supposed to be that interesting. I'm gonna do a full report on you, on uh, what your All life right. is, what your life is like based on my observations. <laughs> Whatever, sounds okay. like a scam to me. But well, it's not it's a scam. Right. I just I'm calling you because I didn't want you to be concerned if, if you did see me. So what are you driving? Well, no, I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm I'm supposed to be following you around secretly. Oh, I see. But I didn't want All you right. to be concerned if. You know, I didn't want you to, like, you know, go park in the police station, like, a parking lot, like a pussy. So if I don't go anywhere all day, that's good, huh? Yeah, yeah, that'll just be in my report. Okay, sounds good to me. But, um, you know, i, I got to do this for several days this week. You know, i got to have what some. What is your name? Uh, my name is Barry. And you live where? Uh, I'm, I'm over on Quail Ridge Run and Rosemary Lane, like, right out, way over there. But it's still here in the neighborhood. I know where that is. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Whatever. All right. Can't I, you pick on somebody else? Uh, no, no. I've already selected your name, and uh, I gave it to my professor, and uh, he, it's it's all set up. It's ready to go. I'm going to start tomorrow. Where are you going to school? At the community college. That's weird. Why is that weird? Whatever. Well, no. It's, yeah. It's, your name is what? Barry. Barry. 
Okay. But don't don't be calling me Barry the Fairy. I don't like that, okay? I get that a lot at school. <laughs> whatever. Well, I get that a lot at school. All right, school. whatever. I'm just saying, like, don't be cool about it, okay? Gotcha. Got to go. Okay, I'm going to be taking pictures of you and writing down everything you do. I don't like that. Well, even if you stay home, like if you go outside and check your mail, I'm going to write down, you checked his mail, 12.31 p.m. Whatever. Okay. Well, I'll have my wife do everything. Okay, well, I'll, that, that's, that's not nice. You know, I'm just trying to get a good grade, that's all. <laughs> it sounds weird to me. Well, that's that's what school's like these days. We don't actually learn anything. We just follow people around and make TikTok videos. Who's your professor? Uh, it's uh, Bob Dabalina. Got to call him, see what the hell's going on. Okay, yeah, he'll let you know. It's just a class project, Professor Bob Dabalina. Bob Dabalina. Does he have a phone number? Uh, I don't know what it is. I've never called him. That'd be weird to call hmm. my professor. Ooh, that gives me the willies Okey-doke. just thinking about it. Ew, no, I'm not doing that. Gross. Whatever. And okay. how old are you? I'm 23. And you're still in college. What's wrong with that? I took a year off after high school. Just well, like I, I was married by 23, and I was out of school. Oh, that sounds horrible. Like yeah, have you, whatever. Have you I got to go now. Have you only been with one woman in your life? Yep, a 75 years. Bye-bye. Okay. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be a dick or anything. But he's telling me I'm weird for not being married at 23. Guess what, everybody? If you're past the age of 23 and you're not married yet, you're a fucking weirdo. According to Albert. Hello? Hey, is this Eric? Yeah. Oh, hey, Eric. It's Barry. I'm your neighbor. Hello? Barry, my neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I needed to let you know I'm going to be following you around for a few days. It's for a community college project. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got, you got, you got, are we following me around where? Oh, just wherever you I'm go. Re- like if you go to a store. I'm retired. I know, but like you got errands and stuff to do, right? I d- I'm not sure if I know who I'm talking to. Oh, it's Barry. Are you up in Flint? Oh, no, I live on Charlotte Drive. I'm just... I'm down the street and around the corner from you. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm just. How did you get my number? I looked it up on the internet. I'm, I'm gonna be. Uh, it's it's just a criminology class that I'm taking in in college, and uh, they want us to follow someone around for a few days and just write. How did you pick me? Oh, I just picked at random. You know, I'm just like. <laughs> and, I'm going to, I actually, I'm going to be pretty busy the next few days. Oh, that's perfect. I've got, uh, I can follow you everywhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be taking pictures with my camera and taking notes and just writing down everything you do. So the more, the better. Uh, I don't even do, I don't even know you, but I'll be doing it from a distance. So you won't have to know me. You know, I'll just, I'll be uh, creeping around. Like behind corners. Yeah, that sounds creepy. I know, but that the, sounds you, really creepy. You you won't see me. I'm I mean, can I deny it? Can I deny this? Oh no, I've already. Can I take a fifth on it? I've already submitted your name to my professor. <laughs> well, how did you get my name? I just picked you. You're you're one of my neighbors. I remember I, I called you last year. I, I I was I'd been in your backyard like polishing your trees. Doing what? Polishing your trees. Because you weren't taking good care of your trees. I may have talked to your wife about it. Just hang on a second. Okay. <laughs> this has got to be a show. There's some guy named Barry that says he's going to follow me around. He says he was in our backyard polishing our trees. My wife knows about it. Uh-oh. No, this is Sam. Nah, I, I pass. Thanks, well, Barry. Well, no, you don't uh, get a choice. And, and <laughs> tell, later. tell your wife she's being an idiot. Ah, the wife says it's a scam, and then it's just game over. The husband's suspicions were confirmed. But, you know, now, tomorrow, when he's doing all of his busy running around, he's going to be wondering, is that guy following me around today? I keep seeing the same car behind me. That's got to be him. Let me try him back one more time, because... I didn't get to yell at him about his kids. They all sounded feral. Your call has been forwarded to Ah. voicemail. 
The person you're trying to reach is not available. Darn it. At the tone. Here's another call coming in. Joe. Hello. 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 Is oh. this Barry? Yeah. You know, uh, you've been calling uh, our address here. Uh, uh, is there a reason? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Did I talk to anybody? I'm with the Homeowners Association. Oh, okay. Who's this? Uh, you you called uh, for Christina. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we were in your backyard last night. Oh, <laughs> well, what's up? Um, well, you know that box on the outside of your house where your telephone's hooked up to? Okay. Uh, we opened that up and plugged in our own phone, and we're able to make 900 number calls and other long-distance calls and even overseas calls on that line. It doesn't ask us for a password or anything, so you need to get that box locked up. Uh-huh. Yeah. So... You just buy, what, a, what, so, buy a padlock anywhere. What, you know, go to Walmart and just buy a padlock and put it on that box. Okay, so that's on the side of our house? Yeah. Yeah, we're for the phones. Who even has a oh, phone okay. these days? I see. Okay. All right. Is, is What color is the box? Oh, I don't know. It was dark out. Uh, I was in your backyard uh-huh. late late at night, like uh, 2 or 3 in the morning. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. We we're just testing the well, box. Aren't you, aren't you afraid of getting, uh, you know, some suspicious somebody in your backyard at 3 in the morning? Am I afraid of someone getting suspicious? Well, it's afraid of somebody hurting you. Oh, no, no. That's that's not allowed. That's yeah. against uh, the rules of the Homeowners Association. You're not allowed to just go no, around well, hurt, hurting people. I don't think there's uh I don't think there's a uh I don't think there's a homeowners association here. Oh yes there is. You just don't pay for it. Hey, you tell that lady okay. in the background, you just tell her to hush up. This is our conversation. Well, okay. Well thanks thanks anyway. Thank you for uh the info. I appreciate it, okay? Oh you're welcome. All right, where do you live? Oh, nice try, buddy. Nice try. You, you don't, you don't uh, want right, to give your info. You. I don't think I remember asking for that name, but I probably did. Hey, you know what sounds really amazing to me right now? Voicemails. Hey, this is Randall from Pearland, Texas. Hey. Um, I'm calling to ask you: Have you heard of John Breaks Bad News on like TikTok, YouTube, no. Facebook? He's probably on everything. No, um, I do not think so. Anyways, I saw him the other day, made me laugh, uh, good, funny idea, but at the end of every call he says, I love you, say it back. Um, I commented on one of his videos, uh, are you a Brad Carter disciple? And he hearted it, so Aww. maybe one of your fans to check out. Okay. Right, bye. He just does prank calls. Somebody should link that for me in the comments, because I'm too lazy to go searching for John Briggs on TikTok. First thing I wanted to ask was if you've ever, like, asked Satan for anything, if you ever, like, regret it, you're like, oh, well, maybe now that I have this in my life, was that what I was asking for? Also, yeah, I must have... You know, people are always doing that, asking Satan for stuff and then regretting it. That's just a normal human problem. I must have called the wrong 5309 number because last time that I left a weird voicemail, it was just some random Verizon number or something. All right, bye. That's weird. That wasn't my fault. I haven't touched the voicemail line. So maybe Google was having problems. But anyway, no, I have never asked Satan for anything. That'd be weird. I don't pray to Jesus. It'd be even weirder if I prayed to Satan. Do people really pray to Satan? I guess that makes sense. Still bizarre, though. Hey, Brad. Uh, Hey, it's Trucker John from the 618. Hey. Uh, Yeah, I changed my... 618 forever. Name. Having kind of a identity crisis right now it's okay anyway um hey uh sorry i sorry i put that thing on the reddit that said uh oh. the shows were i thought you were gonna say you're sorry you smashed in my car this past weekend but no it's just a reddit thing the shows were shitty um oh yeah the good news you're is one of those people that after that they actually kind of really improved so oh, wow. um you know, I kind of felt bad about 
Imagine so that. I signed up for it. You the- think every single one of my shows would be exactly the same in terms of quality and funniness and all that stuff. But it turns out it goes up and down every single week and every single month. It's like a little graph thing. And on one side, it's like Brad sucked. On the other side, it's like Brad was pretty good. It's just Patreon. the way it goes. Gone. Well, through Spotify, so... Yeah, thank you. So there you go. Your evil plan worked, Brad. Yay. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for signing up on Spotify, but it's your own fault, because, you know, if I suck, just wait a couple weeks, and I'll do a show that doesn't suck, and then you won't have to complain, and then feel bad, and sign up on Spotify. Hey, you, Brad. Um, I still will hear. Hey. A good couple months since I've called in. Yay. I was just listening to your second most recent hobo sode. Everybody should subscribe to Patreon if you haven't already. That's right, everybody. But, uh, and you played the uh, whole underground thing. You had a good underground sub-level prank call. Oh, yeah. And it reminded me, and I'm sorry if you covered this already, but have you seen that TikTok lady that dug, like, a whole ass mine under her house? Oh, yeah. She dug, like... Yeah, like, when she got in trouble and the city made her stop doing it i guess is what happened um i'd say about a hundred people submitted that to me and posted it on reddit and facebook and everything else but i had already been aware of her probably because the listener sent me her link early on and she's a weirdo i kind of like her i haven't really seen any videos of her lately so i'm guessing she's just not digging anymore deep deep down under her house yeah she ended up getting shut down by, like, the state or whatever. Her and Skunk Work should get married. And uh, hearing that song reminded me of that situation. So if you haven't seen it, let me know. I'll email that shit to you. It's fucking it's hilarious. It's okay. No, it's no, don't do that. So many people have done that now. I'm also very familiar with Colin First. Is that his name? I'm probably remembering it wrong. It's definitely Colin, but he's in the UK. He's done a bunch of tunnels under his house, but I guess those are all legit tunnels that he got permission for. He's getting ready to build an underground garage to park his DeLorean in so he can lift up his DeLorean and drive off. He's a really obnoxious guy. I'd hate to have him as a neighbor. Hi, Brad. This is Dean Wolf Jesus. Hey. Hey, really just a question for your audience in general. Are you guys team next door Nick or team sign guy? I really need to know that. Um, yeah. All right. Bye. Somebody put up a poll somewhere. Who do you love more, next door Nick or the sign guy? Team Wolf Jesus needs to know. I've been neglecting sign guy lately. I'm very sorry, sign guy, but I'll catch up. I've been catching up on really old next door Nick numbers lately. Hey, Brad. It is quote unquote Woody. Hey. Uh, I sent you some numbers. Several months ago. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe I'll say where I'm calling from, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not uh, based on that. So that being said, uh, I sent you some HOA numbers. You used them on a show. It turned out pretty funny. I think it was the same one where you told the guy that you were following him for a school project. Oh, nice. Which is pretty legit. I should just finish up your list with that. I think I came across your list today when I was doing the other stuff. So I need to get back to that list. I need to stop letting my lists go to waste. Uh, that being said, I've got more numbers for you. I've Ooh. always got more numbers for you. Oh. I just have to be responsible and send them to you. Yeah. Uh, Don't get me arrested. I wanted to throw an idea out your way. So I, I make calls quite a bit. I haven't ever sent you one of my calls. I probably should do that. Um, but I got some people really fired up. I was calling people in the Florida, like central Florida area yeah. last night. And I was trying to reserve a hotel room for mm-hmm. August 11th through August 13th, 2045, for the eclipse that's going to be coming through there 21 years from now. So, pretty neat premise. Uh, feel free to use it. It's yours okay. now. Okay. Um, I want to make a few more calls. Why am I going to stay there for 21 years? I'm so confused. Tonight, but I'll probably be done with I that. think, like, wasn't Milkbox doing something like this? He was trying to time travel and see the eclipse that happened so, that happened last week or something. I don't know. Uh, if you yeah. want to elaborate on that, uh, August 11th through August 13th, 2045, for the total eclipse, uh, that might be some fun. But yeah. anyways, Brad, keep it up. Really been enjoying or it. Or I could just say 2032. Nobody's going to know. I'm going to hibernate in your hotel room until then and smear Vaseline all over everything. Hey, Mr. Brad. Uh, this is Andy. Hello. I'm from Toledo. Hi. And uh, I, I don't know, 
just wanted to mention, I think it's kind of weird sometimes when you do the uh, toilet pranks and sometimes you'll flush the toilet like twice within 10 seconds of each other. Yeah. And I, at least so far, I haven't, I don't think I've ever heard anyone like notice. Yeah. Like, also, you... the sound of the flush itself is wrong for whatever I'm saying, because I'll say the toilet's completely clogged up, but you still hear it flush. It sounds perfectly healthy. Possibly flush it that like that quickly hmm. like the tank's not filling that quick that's true um i don't know just a thought i had but uh thanks for the show man it could be one of those pressurized toilets those can flush as fast as you want can't they i think i really love listening to it all the time thanks. and anyone else that's listening um if you're not subscribed to the podcast or to the uh, patreon uh you need to do that you need yeah. to get on that thanks look Bye. that's three people on the voicemails now who have said you're a big fucking idiot if you don't subscribe to the patreon or the Spotify, or the Apple. So why aren't you doing that? By the way, there's a brand new uh, Hobo Soda out. I haven't put it on Phone Losers yet, but it's on Patreon, and it's free every 10th episode. Doesn't cost a Patreon fee to listen to. So go listen to that. I can't remember if it was any good. It might be horrible, but I don't think it is. I've been a big fan of your show uh, since I was a fucking fetus, and uh, I'm sick right now. So you were fucking fetuses? That's disgusting. Sing to you. You're listening to the Snowpass Show yeah. here on Prank Call Nation. That was beautiful. Thank you. Add it. It's me, Tobias Brock. Do you know this song, Piano Man by Billy Joe? Of course. Also, have you ever... I'm old. Oh, this is just you asking me a bunch of weird random questions, isn't it? I've dealt with you before. In the movie Getaway with Ethan Hawke and Selena Gomez. I have not. If not, you should watch it. I it will is not. A good movie. I won't do it. Also, I wanted to tell you thank you for uploading the new shows, the old shows, not the new shows, but the old shows, like yeah. one, two, three. What? Also, thank you for uploading new shows. What I are guess. you talking about? Bye, Brad. See you mm. later. Tobias Brooks away. Bye, Tobias. I guess that wasn't that many questions. It's okay. Hey, Brad. So um, I was listening to episode 841 and um, 49 minutes through and 36 seconds. Oh, wow. Um, Thanks for giving the exact time. I noticed you actually listed uh, the full number of someone you phone pranked and you forgot to beep it out. Yeah. Just want to let you know. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, somebody in the comments on YouTube let me know about that. And that happens sometimes, you know, I accidentally leave a number in. So I go to the YouTube editor thing and I just figure I'll edit the number out. I've done this a lot of times when I make dumb mistakes. And I don't know what I did wrong, but I did it completely backwards. So several hours later when I checked YouTube to make sure it had erased, instead of a hour long show or whatever it was, it was an eight second long show of that lady's phone number being read by the voicemail system. I completely messed up, so instead of trying again, I deleted that video and I just made a new one from here at home with the number deleted and re-uploaded it. But man, that was a mess. I don't know how I did that. I'm pretty stupid sometimes. But thanks for letting me know, both you and the other few people that let me know. And thank you, hopefully, for not prank calling that number, unless maybe you did. So uh, that's the last voicemail and the show is over. And man, you guys, I'm so sad right now. That's my way of saying I'm super angry. I was doing the editing for the phone calls portion of my show. And remember last time there was like a call missing or like the audio from my side was missing. Well, this time the audio from her side was missing from the recipient side. And I don't know why it happened for like three phone calls. I think two of them were good. So what the heck? Why is that happening? I don't know. I wish it would stop. It's either, I don't know. I don't think it's my mixer, but maybe it's the software that I use to record with from my mixer. I think it's gotta be that. This really sucks. Just losing phone calls all randomly. That's no fun. I don't want that. I even checked on Asterix this time to see if the phone call happened to be on there and it wasn't. And that is my fault. I gotta get in my Asterix system and work on some settings so that when this happens, I can at least give you a crappy version of the call instead of nothing at all. But what the heck? I use Mixcraft to record multi-track stuff. And it shows that the audio is there. It shows me the waveform of the audio and it's completely intact. But then when I go to the actual file to try and listen to it, it's not there. 
I don't get it at all, but there is one change I've made to this computer lately. I think it could be related, and I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But damn it, damn it, damn it. I even have the show art today set up already in uh, WordPress on snowplowshow.com. It's a picture of the lady's yard and sidewalk from that call. She had built her own sidewalk from her house to the street, and right at the end of the sidewalk was a mailbox in the middle of it and i was yelling at her because that wasn't ada compliant i'm only explaining this to you because the artwork is there and i'm gonna leave it there in memory of the call that was lost and i'll never get back but this really sucks this has happened twice now this show should be slightly longer but it's not so next time i record i'm gonna be using a backup recorder which sounds like a pain in the ass but i'm gonna do it just in case i can't have phone calls just disappearing it's ridiculous and i blame jt22906 Steve B, Chaz the Tandem Stacker, I Regret Jumping, and Sim Speak. They are all fully responsible for the loss of two or three calls in this show. Thanks a lot, you guys. Nah, just kidding. You guys are the best. Thanks, everybody, for listening. It's a cold, hard world. It's a cold, hard world. I don't have a weed pipe. Never have, never will, and this is not funny. 